Hey guys, welcome back to another Whatever Wednesday or maybe Foodie Friday, depending on when I upload this. So today we are eating these Korean glass noodles by Rothy. Let me just show you. They sent me a bunch of packages. This is the one that comes with a red sauce that we're gonna be making today. And it's super easy to try this for yourself. I'm gonna have the link to the Amazon in the description box so you guys can try these out for yourself. I already have them a little bit pre-cooked right here so you can see. Yay, I'm so excited. So if you are as excited as I am, which I doubt, make sure you let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button if you're new here because we'd love to have you join us here and be a part of the family on Mukbang Monday. So let's get started. Um, I guess I will first start out by adding these clips of me doing some pre-cooking beforehand. First thing I'm going to do is add 400 milligrams of water. Try to get this to boil. I'm using the water um, that I cooked these noodles in already, the pre-cook, so that it was already hot to hopefully speed up the process. And we have two packets of spice. Let me grab the lid. Okay, let me just put that lid on there so it can really heat up. She's on high. Then we're gonna cut these open and add them in. It says to use two packets for 400 milligrams, milligrams, milliliters of water. Boop. Boom. Feels so weird to eat without Chantal sad so if you are a, a vegan this does have ink powder in it so that is why Chantal is not joining me today but if you're vegetarian um, or eat everything like me you are good to go let's get her to a boil she looks boily pretty good pretty good I'm gonna put this on my carpet okay let's add some Napa Cabbage. Uh, this is going to be too much. Mm. Too late. <laughs> I feel like Napa cabbage always looks like it's so much and then it cooks down a lot. Maybe I should have pre cooked this down too, but I really want the Napa cabbage to soak in the spicy red sauce. I'm already so excited. If you guys noticed, um, for any of our longtime viewers, I'm trying the AirPod method so you guys can really hear the chewing and slurping sounds for those of you who are into it. And also, me and Max have been having some troubles with the mic and the camera lately. Um, you might have noticed in our sushi video, I was doing like some zoom in and zoom out stuff. I don't really know what's going on, so this is like a backup mic. Okay, I'm gonna give these a few minutes to cook down. Um, this is a little tilted moment. It's just, is that safe? Okay. Let those cook down. I grabbed some kimchi. This is from Ralph's. I think it's new. It's Thimble Truth. It's pretty good. It's really sour and has, um, I really like crisp taste, which I like, but it's definitely different. I'm also gonna be sipping this sparkling strawberry juice beverage from Trader Joe's. Makes me nervous cooking with a skillet because this handle's like heavy. So it gets a little tippy. Mm. 
I'm just gonna let this cook down for a few minutes and check back in with you guys. It's been a few minutes. Let me remove these scissors. Yay! Okay. I'm going to stop. <laughs> Add the noodles back in. So I cooked them for five minutes and I'm gonna cook them for three to four minutes. These glass noodles are so cool. I'm so excited to eat these. So these have been sitting for a little bit, so I feel like maybe I should separate them. I just want to make sure they don't all stick together so I can really get some good slurps. I don't like that one's ripping. There we go. I'm just trying. I'm just going to use my hands because I really don't want them to rip. Like, I want satisfying noodle bites. You know what I mean? And also, it's just me eating so I can use my hands. <laughs> like a savage. Okay, so my noodles are in. I'm gonna give these three minutes and then I'm gonna add the tofu and the hot dog in right at the end. I'll be right back. Okay, it's been a few minutes. I wanna add my tofu and my hot dogs back in. I feel like it might be too much tofu. I wish I had one of those like half packets, but I only had a big guy. So exciting. Okay. So here, the hot dogs are actually vegan hot dogs um, I got from Ralph's. I saw a lot of people have like sausage um, with Korean food and I don't know what kind of those, what kind of sausages those mini sausages are, but if anybody knows, please write it in the comments below because I want to eat them so bad. They look so good. Hmm, maybe I'll save like half of these for a different meal. To add cheese or to not add cheese. Let's do it, let's add a little cheese. Let me move this closer to you guys, it's a better view. Woo! Just gonna do a little bit on top. This is just like a, a cheese blend, nothing special. Oh, that was a huge chunk. Mm. <laughs> okay. Give it like one more minute. Wow. <gasps> Guys. Okay. Boom. And then I have some green onions. Sprinkle them on top. Mm. Voila. It looks so good. I'm so excited. She's still like burning hot though. No, I can eat it. First and foremost, look at these beauties. It's, it looks amazing. I'm just double checking that I'm recording down here. All right, cheers. Guys, A, very spicy, but B, these are so good and chewy. I'm really glad I added the cheese, it's so good. They're very slippery. I can already tell this is going to be burning hot. Mm. Wow. Hold this cheesy tofu bite.
So since these are vegan hot dogs, <laughs> I try to cut them how they cut the sausages, like with little lines, and I thought they would cook out, but I think because they're vegan, they were just like, no. So now they're just sliced stupidly. <laughs> So they sent me two packets of these. One of them is just the noodles itself. And then this one comes with the red powder. This is really good. It is really spicy. So if you have a low spice tolerance, maybe just get the regular noodles and then make your own like seasoning. Um, let me know in the comments below what other kind of recipes you want me to make with glass noodles because they sent me so much. And I was thinking about doing like a milky carbonara with the non- um, with the noodles that doesn't come with the seasoning pack. Mm. Napa cabbage is just superior. Okay. Yeah, these are so hot. I don't know how the Korean mukbang errs, mukbangers, if that's the right word. I don't know how they eat stuff right out of a boiling pot. Like, my mouth is so sensitive. Mm. Oh, look at this. It's still steaming hot. Like, please, Lord, cool down so I can devour you. I know a lot of times that like um, people will say it's bad luck to break the noodle, but these are so thick and chewy. I will literally choke to death if I don't. So I'm sorry if I'm disappointing you, but I I, um, I want to survive. So. <laughs> I wonder what they're made of that they're clear, like potato starch? Mm. I like, thought I didn't like the crushed sesame seeds, but the more I eat them, I actually feel like I prefer them now. Definitely recommend it with the Napa cabbage. I feel like I didn't see that often, but it's really good. Sorry, when things are spicy, my nose just starts running. I'll try to cut out my sniffles. Ow. 
still so hot. I like burnt the bottom lip. I wasn't sure if I was going to do like a story time for today. <clears throat> but literally right before this, I did a Zoom callback. So basically in LA, or I guess it could be anywhere you're auditioning. Yeah. Sorry. You have an audition. Well, first your agents submit you. Then you get accepted or you don't to audition. So it's usually like a couple thousand people who audition. Then they do a callback. So they narrow it down to like a couple hundred. And then from there, they can pick like two or three people or maybe up to 10 to be on a veil, which means like you're in the final running. So I had a call back today. So they're like a little bit more important than the original audition because it's like they remember you, you're being considered. Today. I don't know how many people know this, but there's like a Zoom waiting room that you can be put in. And my original call time was three. So I went in at like, you know, 2.55. I was in the waiting room for an hour and a half. An hour and a half, just sitting in front of my computer, like afraid to pee in case my time started. Like even in-person auditions usually didn't go that like far past your call time. It's so slippery. Hi, Cairo. Mm, so hot. Hi. I'm sitting in this Zoom audition for an hour and a half, and I'm like, this is crazy. But what was weird is they didn't even accept me into the waiting room. It was like this message that said, um, the host is waiting to start the meeting. So I was like, maybe something's wrong. I have the wrong link. Like, I don't know, this is so weird. So I email my agent. She emails the client. <laughs> and they were like, oh, sorry, we're just running behind here. We'll give you a new call time, it's 5.30. So they were gonna let me sit in that room for hours because they were running behind instead of like reaching out to our agents and like letting us know. That's crazy to me. Like no other profession would just like make someone sit in a room for two hours <laughs> and not give them like any information on what's going on. <clears throat> oh no. Oh, I felt a little um, spice like flick towards the wrong side of my throat. I got really nervous. So I was just, I just can't believe like if I didn't reach out to my agent when I've just been sitting there all day, like that was my life. Like we have nothing else to do. But these companies know how bad you want to book a commercial. And the problem is, is there's so many actors that like you really are expendable. I feel like being an actor, you know, you think of like the glamorous parts of it. Like the Golden Globes and stuff like that. But you don't often hear about the like nitty gritty details of like the working actor, the one who's like trying really hard to make it because you know, there's a long process before you could ever see success and there's a possibility you never do. It's very scary. But 
It's what you get for following your passion. <laughs> These are so slippery, guys. Like, I swear I'm good at chopsticks. They're so slippery, they're like hard to chew because they're moving in your mouth so much. <laughs> one. You know, I like spicy and I could I could use a glass of milk right now. This is so good. Like, I feel like I could eat 10 pounds of it if it wasn't so spicy, but it's almost as spicy as like the fire noodle challenge, not the nuclear, the, not the two times, but the one time. Let's go see if Max wants some. I brought Max to try it. Mm -hmm. Here, I'm going to give you the ASMR mic. That's you know, they're very slippery. They're very chewy. Pretty good. Yeah, that's really nice. Oh, I just got some spice at the end of it. <laughs> Excellent. It's very spicy. Oh. Splash zone. Son of a bitch. They're really, really slippery. They're even like slippery to chew. That's what I was trying to say. Like in your mouth, yeah. it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Why is it so. <laughs> you didn't want to Lean cut them in. like halfway? No, because, you know, they like when you like take big bites, but I literally had to cut them anyway in my mouth because I was choking. Uh, not flexible enough. I can't lean. Can you bring it closer to you? Mm. all right guys i am very full these were super amazing definitely go check them out again they are going to be linked in the description box down below they are korean glass noodles by rothy if you like this video make sure you give a big thumbs up again let me know what else i should make with these i have literally 500 packs of them so i'm ready to keep juking and jiving with these babies the spicy ones are very spicy my mouth is on fire <laughs> Whatever Wednesday out. Yeah.